floss tube welcome to crafty cottage stitches floss tube number 21 today is saturday june 19th good and morning good morning we're <laughs> at my house i'm heather i'm jeanette and, and this was totally accidental yeah. and i could have changed but i didn't want to no, no. no. <laughs> we are having beautiful weather here so t-shirt weather it is it'll be a good gardening shirt too that's why we got them yeah total accident i showed up and she's like oh my goodness <laughs> but i wasn't changing because the first and time i'm not going this home one. to change yeah so. <laughs> um this is our floss tube channel about cross stitching quilting crafting sewing decorating all things home anything else except for cooking that's probably never yeah. going to make a no not unless my older daughter does it. She's the cook. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Never I don't think you want to see me making hot pockets. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> hot <really>. pockets. <laughs> so we have very. We've been. We just wanted to kind of stop in and say hello because you know we do that. We said we would every two weeks. Um, you don't want to let you guys down. No. We <laughs> like to you know the, love the comments and everything. Yes, and thank you so much for all the nice comments about my mom's. Um, Room tour yeah that was very very nice yes. thank you so i felt really uncomfortable doing it i don't mind showing you guys but i feel like oh my gosh you know it's hard to i don't know yeah it's awkward it's awkward so it especially when you can see and on that note we're having around. another tour after we're done here we are. <laughs> so so, <laughs> so we thought we would do um we've had a lot of people ask um just for a home tour so i thought we'd do that and we did a little and then it also shows her um, the stitching cabinet. cross stitch cabinet. Yeah, so just make this go away. Okay. Um, yeah. So we just did a quick little home tour, stitching cabinet tour. You'll get to see Evelyn a lot because yeah. she thought that was really cool. We did it during the week. Yeah. So. But we do have a tiny bit of stitching. Tiny bit. I got a haul and. Yeah, you did get a good haul, huh? I did. So all I've worked on is, and very, very little, um, busy is an understatement right now. So I, the, the B skip, which, you know, apparently is going to be ongoing forever. I think, I think I, the house was done, but I did some more of the vines cause I had to take all those out cause I messed up so bad. <laughs> um, it was bad. Oh, it looks super cute on there. I did the the wording, so I'm really close to a finish. I'm hoping to find five minutes to, <laughs> to work on it here and there, but you should be able to now. I hope so. I'm hoping so. Yeah, yeah. I should be able. I think I'll probably finish this today, if not tomorrow. So I that's, love the like the quilt star up. There. I know, and that's the one where Lori Holt mm -hmm. put the extra ones down. All the there. ones on the bottom. So yeah, I'm not sure. I'll have to look and see what frames I have to see if I need to add to it or whatever. So that's almost done. But this is the only cross stitch I've worked on. I was going to start some and just plain ran out of time. So that's what I worked on. I actually cross stitched quite a bit, but it was just on one pattern. On copy first. I think last time I didn't even have the cup filled in. No, I don't think so. So I made a lot of progress. And I'm going to be honest. <laughs> I didn't realize. I thought I was using khaki mocha white all along the bottom. Well, I was using whitewashed, but I switched out khaki mocha at the top. So you see the cup gets kind of darker up here. And then I realized towards the top that I had done that, but I just committed to using khaki mocha. So it looks like a nice dingy diner cup. Hey, it's okay. It looks, it looks really you know, cute. like over dyed floss. And honestly, like inside, you can't really tell. I had it in the car the other day and it was like, Oh wow. Oh wow. That looks like <laughs> really messed up, but you can't tell in my house. No. At all. Her house is kind of dark like mine. Yeah. So. And where it's going in my like dining room coffee bar area, you won't be able to tell. I think it's totally you can't I mean, tell, like, in this very, lighting. No, and there is some brown down in there, it too. It just looks like over dye. But, I mean, it's like a dingier... I really like that khaki mocha. I ordered a bunch more. Um, I really do, too. That's good. That's whitewash good. is, a like, a yellowier, lighter yellowier white. Yeah. 
But now and you've I've done a lot more dress too. Yes, and I just I did khaki mocha there. I'm just doing khaki mocha from here on out. It's really not a whole lot more. Shouldn't take me very long if I just like sit down and do it. Yes, her dress and stuff will take a lot, but otherwise it's just like little vines and coffee beans. It's fun to do. Yeah, it's really cute. Did you change the green on the dress? Oh yeah. Oh okay. Yeah, I changed. These are all my colors. Are is her dress two different colors? Yep. Oh, okay. Or the top, like the shirt it's like, part, is a different DM color. Yeah, it is. It's a like like those a I did a DM in DMC because they're my favorite. Greeny blueies. Greeny blueies. Yeah. Keep. And then I think the rest I did in over dye. This pink I stole out of my mom's cabinet one day, and she doesn't know that. Which one is that? I don't know. Was it one that she took the tag off? No, I just didn't look because I didn't care. Um. <laughs> Whatever. It was, I think, um, one that you were using. It wasn't even, it was in your little basket, so it was one you were using. Oh, okay. Did you put it back? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I just, I took one, like, <laughs> strand out of there, because it's only oh, for care. that heart, and I think one or two other hearts. So it's like, I don't know, 20 little X's. Cute. It's like a, That's rose, gonna be a rosy pink. So, You're yeah. framing that, right? I yeah. did get my frames in, but I only picked them up, like... What a day and a half. When did I pick those up? Thursday? So I haven't had time to, I bought everything to do it. I just haven't had time to sit down and actually put my, the blessing sampler I bought and the farmer's daughter, is that what it's called? Yes. Yeah. Um. So I got the frame for that, but I haven't had time to put them in. So hopefully I will. Hopefully I can find an oval frame, like at an antique store or something. That would be fun. What are you doing? Sorry, I thought I heard running water over there, but I don't have my sprinkler on. <laughs> um, you know, like like Berry Keeper, like that kind. Like you got the oval oh, frame. The I feel like they're the similar. Yeah, they're similar cool. shapes. They might not be, but maybe I'll adjust it a little bit so they are more. It's more ovally, so I can find an oval. Okay. Frame would I'll be cute because I don't too. love <clears throat> it like in a square shape here. I don't know. We'll see. It's cute. Yep. Yeah. This is fabric I dyed myself years ago. Yeah, I was gonna say that's one of the old ones, right? Yes, the what I'm trying to replicate. And then <laughs> I had last time I had dyed that piece of fabric. I showed you guys it was the light blue Hobby Lobby that um, oh. I had started the tiny modernist little uh, like pumpkin sewing mouse. I'm not sure what she's called. I'm sorry. I'll it's linked on our last video. But it was like a gross gray because I tea dyed it, tea coffee dyed it. No, it wasn't gross. It wasn't our thing. It was gross for like, what I was doing it for. I it didn't just, think it looked good it, with, the, the with that orange. Or it just was not right. Um, anyways, backtracking. <laughs> it is the light blue from Hobby Lobby. My mom said that's the perfect when you tea dye it, and it was because quick she's, tea dye, quick like tea dunk. dye like dunk. She's done <clears> some <throat> really cute. Mm -hmm. Henry's here. Some really cute um, <laughs> patterns on it. It's just, I'm sorry. <laughs> switching, Anyways, switching locations. I got really distracted there. <laughs> um, but I, so I brought it home and I was like, yeah, I love when she did that. So I did tea coffee dye on accident and it just totally changed the color on it. But anyways, I have dunked it again. And I love it now. The Kelly Green and Evening Blue dye ratio that we do. What is that? One part Kelly Green to two parts Evening Blue? No, the other way around. Oh. What? You sure? Yeah, I'm positive. Because that Evening Blue is like, wow. But you can get the same color if I you do. I think I did it that way. Well, then that works good. But I did a quick dunk and then I put it in the Are you oven. sure? Because that's pretty green. Yeah, but it was already it's that, it was already that weird color. Yeah, that's true. So that's hard to say. Yeah, and then I stuck it in the oven and forgot about it, and that's how I got burnt. <laughs> but it looks cool. But on the other side, it's not as burnt, so it's usable. Because on on Instagram, I was like, I'm not gonna be able to use it except for like the middle part because it's all burnt. But I flip it over and you can't even tell. Anyways, I haven't restarted that tiny modernist, but I started a different pattern on it, and it's one of my patterns that I will, now that I'm showing it to you, will probably be releasing this weekend. 
Well, now it has to because yeah. you're showing it. I was going to wait till I had it all stitched up, but it's really cute. I don't know how this picture is going to show. It's called So Busy. Where's the camera? Oh and my it's gosh, it's the cutest thing. Super duper cute. I love it. And here's my start on it. You have to get that one done like right away. I know. It's well, so I was trying to decide if I wanted to do each of the individual squares separate. And make little pillows. And make little or pillows something. like Java Girl Stitches if it has been making. Yeah, that's really cute. So But I've already committed and started on the other one. Well you've been only ten stitches, so well, you can I know. Cut those out. Well, we'll you have could, to see. You I think they pillows. would be really cute individually stitched. I want to do it all in one. So if you I think I'm going to do it all in one, and oh, then okay. maybe I'll do like one. That's true. When you could two. alter it and kind of mix some of the elements for one. Definitely. Make maybe make a longer, skinnier one. Because I did the little honey pot pin cushion. That's the cutest thing ever. Wouldn't that be cute as a pin cushion, or would that be redundant? And no. quilt block flowers. I'm excited. It's I'm excited. It's super about duper that one. cute. And I even charted it a little bit for um, over dies because my last few patterns I've just done DMC. But I wanted to use Queen Bee on this. Yeah, because that's like. It's the best yellow. It's, and it's I just ordered best. more Queen Bee too, so. I also like Bee's Knees. So that if you like it a little bit more brown. Oh, I don't have that one. It's super, that's what I'm using on here. So I think it looks really cute. So it's close, but it's got a little bit more brown to it. So if you like it a little more prim, bee's knees is, takes it that way a little bit. Is the bee's knees. Yeah, it's the <laughs> bee's knees. So anyways, I'll try and get that uploaded for you guys. Um, probably tonight or tomorrow. I'm going to garden today, but I'm not. If you're interested in that pattern, it will be on my Etsy shop at White House Stitch Tree. And I'll, I'll post about it on Instagram when I do that. Super cute. So that's all I have for what I've stitched. But I do have, do you want me to show my what? little, oh, I've got stuff over there. You, I'll grab it. Okay, because that, that is cross stitch, that one. Oh, you're this yeah. one? Yeah. Okay. Don't you think? Yeah. Because otherwise, uh, oh, not any of that. Oh, no. okay. Um, I do have one thing I've been working on besides because I can pick it up real quick. But it's not cross stitch. It's, it's not cross stitch. Yeah. Okay. I don't have any haul. I wanted to show this to you guys. This is something I found somewhere. I can't remember if it was a garage sale or a thrift store. I don't think it. I think it was that sell in the barn, wasn't it? The barn. Over on Wiggins or Herman? No. It wasn't that one. No. I only got like baby I don't stuff. Wanna, and I don't want to say that it was a garage sale. If it was like a garage sale, it would be more like that garden antique sale. It was that sale out in the out in the field. We went to Country Chicks, and then there was that other one. The day that we got in the car accident. No, I don't know. No, they had it at somebody's house, and there was a whole bunch of different little booths around. Okay. Yeah. And Jenna so and something like that, like a fun little, oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like a That's fun little flea was. markety type sale. Is it not the cutest thing ever? And it yes. even has And she spotted it before me because it, it's perfection, the color, yeah. the frame, everything. The back says, to Mama K with love, Kim Aww. and Bill, 1986. How sweet is that? But I just love it because it's little birdies. And that was before I was really cross-stitching. I just thought it was adorable because I love mm -hmm. birds. My husband loves birds. We go birding. Um, pretty flowers. And this blue is my blue. Definitely. It's, it's our blue that I'm we have. hanging up over there with those. Yeah. I need to try to figure that Look out. Look at that. I think I'm going to try and chart this so we can stitch it up too. It might be like a, is that Cricut collection or something? I haven't even tried to find it. I'm not sure. Because I have a bunch of charts with chickadees. In fact, I don't know if she shows it, but on my bookcases in the living room. And it's got chickadees, but I don't remember ever seeing two like this really cute together. So. And what is that? Like a um, cherry blossom? I don't know. Kind of, sort or of. Something. I'm going to have it hanging. I have a wall that has this on there. And this was a garage sale. Definitely. Still a good That'll be fun. Sale, I think. 
And then I have another, like a rose, an old, tiny, like. But it'll be fun rose if we can find a bunch of different stitch of yeah. these with garden theme on it. So that's fun. Funky vintage Yep. Yeah. This is so cute. I love this. I love this. I don't love the background. I know you don't love the color. But actually, yeah, I, I mean, I love it hanging in here. So. Yeah, look how pretty it looks with my stuff in the background. Mm -hmm. The ship black behind me was my graduation gift when I graduated from college. As an adult. <laughs> well, you're so, you should be an adult by well, yeah. you graduate from college, I suppose. Well, apparently he was yep. picking up and leaving. Um, we did that one weekend. Mm -hmm. Dad and mom and Heather, we all put that up. Yeah, You mm -hmm. painted it though, didn't you? Yes, yeah. Macklin helped with the caulking and the painting. Painted it. And then my uh, mother-in-law finished painting it. Because when she, she had, was here for our wedding. Yeah, I guess yeah, it was there right was before a we lot got married. Of stuff it was going on. the busiest year. <laughs> the sickest I've ever been in my life. Yeah. It that was, whole year. <laughs> it, was, it was fun. We're busy people, apparently. We are. It doesn't feel like it when we're living like it. Is, but. No. Yeah. <laughs> no, because we'd probably just, I don't even know, lose it. So. Yeah. You have some. I oh, don't yeah, have I do. Hall. I have cross stitch hall. Sorry. She has cross stitch hall. I did my first color in cotton order thanks to Mrs. Holly Jones. Mm -hmm. Holly Jones. I have to see on floss tube. Color. Which one? This green one, right here. What is this? What's it called? Frosted spruce. Oh man, it's beautiful. Oh, it's goodness. like the color of your shirt. Yeah. See, I love that color. <laughs> um, she primarily stitches and coloring cotton, and her stuff is always so beautiful. And she is a lot like me, where she picks her own. Um, she typically picks her own. And it's subtle colors when she's stitching, but it's beautiful. But if you look at her, the stuff she stitches, there's a lot of variegation. Yeah, it doesn't yeah. look like it when you first pick it up like that, but there really is in there. Pretty. Um, they're beautiful, and I will show you. And the cool thing about these is they're like 250 For eight yards. For eight yards, which is more, right? Or is that the same? It, no, it's not the same. It's the same as a DMC um, skein. I think they're eight, but... Overdides are normally five. I oh, that's what I thought. Yeah. Okay. So. And there's, um, they I picked up a few. They feel wonderful. They do. They yeah. do feel amazing. I picked up a few that are, um, she's no longer making them. Limited editions. They're not limited editions. They're just like no longer. They're retired oh. basically. Oh, okay. And those were two bucks. Wow. These um, are orange. This is an orange. That's yarn. orange, orange. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> there's a dark orange running through it so yeah. it'll, it'll probably be really cool i can see a little this would be cool um for if it was just this and black like on the prairie schoolers would be kind of cool oh yeah i like the, i probably wouldn't mix it with a bunch of other colors yeah. well you never know yeah we'll see we'll wait for holly to use them because <laughs> these two are, always, are always retired okay. i got two of these Kris kringles it looked a lot redder in the pictures but that's okay it's a cool pink it is a cool pink. This is beautiful. Enchanted. Mm -hmm. I wish I had gotten more because it's, it's retired. But she has beautiful aquas. Or they. I'm not sure what color and cotton. <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> they have. <laughs> beautiful aquas. Well, I've never ordered from them. There's that. Jack-o'-lantern. Bright orange. Limeade, which is one of Holly's favorites. And that That's one has a lot too, of, yeah, isn't it? Variegation in it. It's beautiful. Which I don't know why that makes me think of that because I don't think I've ever had anything with a mermaid on it. And I have the hardest time picking greens. So I picked up a few greens. It's hard to tell on them, but those Garland. are beautiful. Garland is also a retired one. No, but I love this ivy. Yeah, it That's looked awesome. a little bit bluer in the picture, but I think this is beautiful. I do too. I know, ivy is awesome. I have more of a hard time using some of the greens that are charted yes. because they're so brown yeah. now. There's that frosted spruce. It's beautiful. This is... Um, that's not retired, right? Because no, I need to have no. some of that. Holly's go-to red is carmine, and that's beautiful. Very close to Ladybug. It doesn't... But not... No, because Ladybug actually has true red. That's not really true red to me. No. It's pinky. I don't think Ladybug is true red. It has true red running through it, though. In bits. Fawn which is actually quite purpley in person, but it's pretty. It's like a dusty purpley. It's pretty. Yeah. 
and then rust it, which is really, really, it's really good. Really awesome. It's kind of a little bit darker than. That. I don't know. I think my new favorite red is Hollyberry, though. Oh yeah, I got some of those too. Yeah, that's really. I nice. think I showed you guys that order. I got a couple. Um, I ordered a couple. I'm not sure, glasses. no, because you ordered Freedom, which I had been needing, and I don't think we've showed that. Oh yeah, I'll grab them real quick. Okay. So we a do. pumpkin. Oh, that's right, because she had used a lot of her pumpkin for... Yeah, I um, thought I had gotten that, yeah. Yeah, I don't think so. I don't think we've shown that. I am so behind. In everything? Um, everything. <laughs> we <Glasses>. are. <laughs> I know. Um, when you see my cabinet uh, tour... It's bad. Yeah, it's really bad. I haven't put any away for quite a long time. Okay, here's a bunch more flosses if you're interested. These are, I think, were one, two, no. Um, oh my gosh, what color is that? Gosh, somewhere in Pennsylvania. It was an Etsy shop. I will post it below. Yeah, because I cannot remember. This apple. is Daylily. Yeah, look at the difference in size on those. Mm -hmm. Three yards. Five yards. Yeah, so yeah. there's a three yard difference. <laughs> it just looks so sad. However, now. I love Weeks Dye Works. Um, oh, I still have a couple more coloring cotton. <laughs> So here's balsam. That's pretty. Okay, that's my favorite. Yeah, it looks that's more, my more green in person, but it's tough because we're wearing green shirts. Oh, yeah. No, that's, that's really beautiful. beautiful. Um, chimney sweep, which is Holly's go-to black. doesn't look black in there, but it it's basically, it's, it's like 844 charcoal. to me. I don't DMC know how you 844. Oh, that's I my go-to. That oh, okay. An aged pumpkin is amazing so pretty watermelon so pretty for fun union blue very variegated don't love it i love it <laughs> i love it i don't know for what yeah love it you don't have there's freedom. that holly berry you didn't buy no it was oh. expensive well because it was a 10 yard it was expensive thing. so i got 12 other <laughs> Because I needed that for yeah, one skin. starting over on that tiny modern. <laughs> it isn't expensive though because Khaki it's mocha cheaper when you buy the 10 yards because they're only like three something. Yeah, yeah. And I'm, you get double the amount. And I got on and ordered a whole bunch of plants too. Which but I, I hope been, we're alive when they get here. They will be. Unless they come Tuesday. And they they're fly. coming Tuesday. Oh, well, it's supposed, it's supposed to, be to be 90 degrees 90 on degrees. Monday here. It's sitting in Idaho right now. Oh, Monday, now. yeah. Oh, where it's like 98 or something. And they'll be fine. They'll They're be guaranteed. Fine. They'll be fine. So that was it for cross stitch. Yeah, I don't, I haven't even ordered anything. Because when it comes down to it, we don't need anything. No. <laughs> I did order, um, is it Little House or Country Cottage? It's three little gingerbread. Like, oh, yeah. And then three little gingerbread houses, but I, I don't know. I had put it away and forgot to grab it. And I also ordered Can't her remember. the wool one. What's that one oh, called? Louise and Henry? Or? Yeah, Henry and Louise. It's the little sheep that says wool across for um, her wool cabinet. Yeah, to hang, I thought it'd be cute, would be cute on, on the... There. That's right. That's, that, that one's hard to find. I think, is, did Lori Holt just stitch that one? I don't think I so. I think somebody just stitched that one and... Oh. Because it's like sold out everywhere. Yeah, and I thought it'd be super cute so hanging it on, on the knob in Etsy my shop. In that little on my wool it's cat cute. that I just did. That's a sheep I would do. Really? Because I didn't think you would. No, he's cute. Oh, okay. I don't know. Maybe I'm changing. Louise. It's a she. Well, who's Henry? The crow on its back. Oh, there's a crow on it. <laughs> Yeah. Anyway, so the other thing, the only other thing I have worked on, and it seems to be, I don't know, taking me forever, but I'll show you. Well, you always bit. are like, oh, I'll have that done tonight. And I'm like, yeah, and it's like 7,000 miles of binding. So this is the only other thing I've been working on. She's and been binding, hand binding. I've been binding. So, and look how cool this stripey binding is. It's very cool. I like it. So. Hopefully one day this will be done. This is a gift for a friend, so I'd like to finish it, but it'll be finished by next time because this is what I've been working on. So I say that, then I probably won't, and it'll be know, finished by Christmas. Yeah, <laughs> hopefully. Well, no October because she's one of those people that decorate in like 
mid-September for Christmas, so, yeah. and I'm not exaggerating. <laughs> it's her favorite, but she can leave that out all winter. Yeah. She's a snowman. She loves it, so. Bam. That's it. <laughs> so I think we're gonna say goodbye. And she's going to put on, oh my gosh, my hair is sticking up. Um, the attached a little tour. tour. Um, some pictures too? Um, I didn't get to that. Okay. And then I can't. There's a little house, a mini house tour of my mom's downstairs. And then she goes through her stitching cabinet where she organizes all of her patterns and um, floss and everything. So... If and it says to... we're going to put pictures, but we're not because I didn't get no. to that. So yeah. we tried. We're, we're not trying. flaky people. We're really we're not. Just really I have right now. <laughs> I have a, a lot going yeah. on right now. And, you know, we'll, we'll keep you posted. <laughs> <laughs> um, so follow us and uh, subscribe here. Um, follow us on Instagram. She's at Carly Court Cottage. I'm at White House Stitchery. And I'm on Etsy at White House Stitchery. Um comment below yes let yeah. us know what what you're working on so if you have questions doing. but on what our little hall of yeah. color and color oh, yeah. And, yeah or whatever email yeah. us um at our email address we'll post that below um happy father's day happy tomorrow father's day to all of the fathers out there and yeah that's it have a good couple of weeks and now here is our house tour Stand by grandma you're on. Oh, hi. <laughs> Welcome to my house. We thought we would do a short home tour in an effort to fill space from lack of stitching <laughs> and being extremely busy. So come on in. Can you say hi, Evelyn? Hi. Hi. Come hi. on in here. So come on into my little house and we'll show you around. Say hi. Say hello. Is her marker lid and her eyelash curler. Yep, she has to have one thing in each hand. Heather will show you around a little bit. This is obviously the entryway. Let me move out of the way. It's a little tight, so I can't really yeah. get back to There's my there. amazing hydrangea that yeah. just started it's crazy. To We're kind of having some hot weather, so it's not real happy, but the coat closet, I can't really back up much more. So. <laughs> it's pretty much, you know, an This is it, way, yeah. So. Yeah, you're gonna show us, show them around the house? Okay, come on <laughs> here. So to the, to the left is where my sewing room is, which is, you know, mm -hmm. technically the downstairs. Um, and is that Doc and stuff going to you down there? Yep. Technically that is the downstairs master. Pantry, then, laundry room. Pantry, laundry. We did all the wood on the walls. You didn't put up your laundry room sign yet. I am opting out of that one, actually. <laughs> so, did you want to go to the living room first? Um, well, most people would come to the living room, right? Yes. I'm just trying, again, not to make people sick. Right. Okay. Come on in. Are you going to curl your hair? Can we put this back where it belongs so people can see where it actually goes normally? No. Well, why not? <laughs> no, I just hold it. Oh, no, not that. This. The ottoman. The ottoman. We're going to put this right here where it goes, okay? Where How's that? So, Heather, we'll show you around. That's my daughter's spoon. That's not like just like a. a no, food I keep spoon. my silverware on the furniture. <laughs> <laughs> She picks weird, random things to carry around with her, so. I'm taking it. Oh, you can touch it all you want. That's totally fine. Right? That's, I don't want to make weird, you know, quiet. That's the quilt you made. Yep, it is. Recently. I love it. My friend tried to steal it the other day. Yeah. Blanket ladder from Hobby Lobby. No, 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 no. Hey, Never mind. Blanket that, ladder from an antique cell. Yes. <laughs> that, and I'm Ollie. hoping to find more of those. Those are my favorite. Hopefully she does. There's this lady that does has a beautiful garden that does a beautiful sale every summer. Yep. Um, that little bench you got from Hobby Lobby and painted. I did. And that's from Hobby Lobby. That's kind of a Hobby Lobby vignette. 
and Michael's has the bee thing in the middle. I was hoping to find a bee skep this year, but I wasn't able to. So. Computer cabinet. Yep. And I keep home decor on the other side. Do you want to see that so you can see that I'm not like, yes. totally organized all the time? I'll back up a little bit. It's um, organized chaos. So this is where I keep stuff oh, that I, I, I can't um, back up. <laughs> that I switch out for the different holidays. The drawers have tablecloths. Now that's nice and neat, but because, you know. You can fold them. <laughs> um, what else do you want to see in here? I think that's about it, right? Yeah. I keep spare it's holiday open. pillows over there. It's open. It does open. Yeah, you didn't know that there was stuff in there, did you? <laughs> um, that's probably for the best. Board games down in that cabinet. Yeah. Full rooms on the other side. The big garden shed my dad's shed some of the garden window and, seat yeah. it's where my oldest granddaughter spends most of her time when she's here actually because there's a plug-in right next to it so when her phone's dead she can stay hooked up all the time you show your crochet basket oh that's that's where i keep um not right now baby like dishcloth projects and small things like scarves and there's a few embroidery pro projects in there i keep those next to my chair so theoretically i pick them up when i have spare time yeah. which i have had none of so and okay. this is the kitchen and i'll turn on the and dining room here. okay Randy. what <laughs> it's a dining room it is the dining area <laughs> It's actually nice and bright in here. Um, this is the only time of day that I'm actually going to get sun back here. There's Evelyn. <laughs> Somewhere. Yeah, there's Evelyn. Try and back up this way so you can see the window. I have a small collection of English stoneware, which I love. It's my favorite. I will only buy it at thrift stores. Um, that's kind of the goal I set for myself. That shelf over there under that window, that is from Hobby Lobby. Um, a lot of people have it. I just stained mine darker to match my house. Um, and we noticed there's a giant fly flying around. This is the second time we've done this one, so <laughs> ignore the fly. He came in this morning. Dining room table my dad made. Mm -hmm. Chairs um, are in the process of being re- Right. And they're going upholstered. to the gray, not to the brown. Yeah. So. <laughs> My hutch. So the hutch. First I'll show Evie's yeah. garage sale high chair. Don't worry, we keep an eye on her in that. Well. Birdhouse. <laughs> um, and I stain that too. To map. They kind of all stain them different with gel stain. It was in my Sorry, hutch that has my... I'm, I'm kind of a little bit over redone, but that I love. I love it just as is. Yeah. So I have the farm life, which I really like. So that'll stay like that. And just little things I find, I stick in there with it. I actually have tea lights in the cheese grater and the blue jar. So, and they're on timers. So at night when I remember to actually change the batteries, I, I more so work, do it during the winter because it, you know, at 9.30 it gets dark here. Um, so that kind of lights it, lightens it up a little bit. Um, I don't have my transfer out right, transfer wear out right now because I don't have enough space for it, but I will soon. So here is the kitchen. We did, we did this about, I would say six years ago. Yeah, right around six years ago. I think so. Um, the farmer's market sign is what we made. I made it right after Christmas. It's a cricket, cricket project. Um, my two-tiered fill this year. I didn't do a lot to it, but hey, I've got a, star a couple strawberry things on it. And because of Christy from Crosshatch Quilts, I have started picking up the jay which I really love. So I've been adding that color in a little bit in here. It's hot in here. It is hot in here. <laughs> so did you show, you show over there? Up there. Oh. And this is my favorite thing that I added to my kitchen. Um, I don't like upper refrigerator cabinets because they're 
inaccessible to me. So we just basically had them build it all the way out and left the doors off. So, and it'll save you money if you ever want to do that because you don't pay for the doors. So it ended up being cost effective too. And I love decorating up there and I decorate for the different seasons. You always have too. I did anyway. Yeah. Yeah. It's always I, been something right. you've done. So what else? That's about it mm -hmm. for in here. If you want to do a walkthrough. Yeah. We have to do your cabinet too. I will. Do you want to do that? Oh, well, let's I'll do, do that. the stairs real okay, quick. Okay, do that, and then I'll... Sorry, that was a quick turn. <laughs> That's all right. You got a red one. I do have a red one. There is the chalkboard, and that's what you've talked about. Instead of that chalkboard, that stitch piece you just picked up would go there. Uh, no, actually. Oh, it's not that one? No. Not oh. That. No, that's going to stay there. Oh, okay. Actually, this was a Hobby Lobby find, and it was too long, so I just basically cut off the end and restained it so then it matched my house it was a really you know so if you see something that's on clearance like i did it was it was probably two hooks too long i just took my little hand saw that heather got me and i just dropped it off and if it so then you can you know basically make it custom to your size because you, those hooks are expensive and sometimes really are. hard to find and, I got and they're wonky on clearance when you get for them. like ten dollars and you yeah. can't get all that stuff to make it so i just made it fit for there so these are an Amazon find. I basically put hanging gray basket and it was a set of two. So, um, here's your little scale. My little scale. I decorate these normally. I would do it for the seasons, but like I said, we've been super busy. So I just kind of left greens in it. Um, there's a bathroom, else? wallpaper. Um, yeah. And you want to see something fun? And I will do this again, definitely. I wallpapered my ceiling. This was a 1999 house. Screws were starting to pop, so I had to fill them anyway. So uh, me and my granddaughter wallpapered that, and that was a lot of fun. It's just anaglypta, and it changed the whole room. So. Was that you, Abby, that helped wallpaper that? No. <laughs> Haley and I actually had a lot of fun doing that. So... There's not a toilet for you. Yeah. No, yeah, <laughs> you need to see the toilet. But, so. Here, I'm going to back up. And okay. I just zoomed in on your shirt. Oh, good. The stairway. And I do keep a couple of stitch pieces up in that cabinet. Um, and that's where eventually my husband's stuff from the military will go with all all of the different patriotic stitches and that was a where'd you find that that cabinet is from your one. Oh <laughs> so, yeah which they're online only the, oh yeah i think so and they have them on wayfair they have them on yeah overstock all of that so. and it wasn't that color I get oh it was that color it's oh it was be pink. I I haven't oh it yet, okay so I get it. you did what i like it you want something i want to do the okay you can go in the pantry. Go turn your light on. Okay. Okay. So, we'll go over and show the, the vacuums in there. Huh? The vacuums in there. I know the vacuums in there. Let me move it for you. We are going to show you the cabinet that she puts her cross stitch stuff. Normally, she has an end table right by that chair on the right hand side because that's where she stitches at night. It's just not in here at the moment. Nope. And I just use a regular 100 watt bulb in there, like a daylight, and yeah. it works fine for me. So here's the cabinet I use for my cross stitch stuff. It is an Ikea, cab Ikea cabinet that came purple that I painted. So Purple, purple. Because it needed to be this exact size. I wanted, I eventually want to find some kind of antique or, you know, something fun to put it in. But right now I'm using this. So if you want to come in closer, this is everything I have for cross stitch. Is, is and looking at it, it kind of sound, seems like a lot, doesn't it? So yeah, a little bit. these are project bags I've made. I also have a bunch of container no, store no. ones. There's no projects active no, in no, here. No. These are all just charts basically no, no. that I've pulled like I, all my sewing, I, all my strawberry. No. I stuck them in a bag, but they haven't been started. This, these are all the ones I've had 
things in that I'm actually doing. I keep, um, well, it shouldn't look like this, but <laughs> right now it does. The new flosses I buy and haven't put away yet go in here. But really what's in here are my needles. What yeah. else would be in there? Just needles. I needles, guess like a needle threader. I have some thimbles in there. There's a needle threader. No, there's like bob the spare bobbins, extra oh, okay. uh, floss away bags and that kind of thing. I keep my, I don't know if I've shown this before. These go in all my bags if I travel, so I don't have to worry about... Loose scissors Yeah, and loose scissors. So I keep them in these. These are like 50 cents at Walmart. They're crayon boxes. I have a ton of these, so... Yeah, I, I do love to, those. I used to have a lot of bags kitted up, and I would have one in each, but I don't do that anymore because I don't drive kids to school anymore. So these are my linens. Yet. Well, Kidding. she's walkable. <laughs> um, these are the linens, and I uh, was inspired by Lori Holt. She just keeps hers in a, I think she keeps them in baskets, the different sizes. And they just stack on top of each other. Um, we're trying, I want to put these labels on it with the size, but we can't get it on with that ring, so we're going to have to find, big, I don't know, I could always tie it on too. That's true. With Baker's twine or something. Yeah, that'd be cute. So... I don't have my end table in here right now, but this would normally go in there. This is actually for a project, um, a polyvon, and a couple other things. That is my working DMC that I'm actually using right now. Um, I put my DMC and my Cosmo on bobbins, and they're all in those. These are my over dies. Um, one brand in each box. I keep them... Like in Floss Away or Hobby Lobby or I, I like you do like this. I like this is it. before I pull them off and that's I like after. It. And this, I like it. Oh, I would rather you not spread them all over, okay? <laughs> okay, but we'll put them right back in here, all right? Right. Right now, I need a bigger basket. So these packaged things will go in a bigger basket in the middle because they don't really go in the different linen sizes. So this also was inspired by Lori. I keep all of this. Normally these wouldn't be in here. These would be in that end table too. But I, ha I don't have it in here right now. And I basically put all of the same designer in one bag. And they're all in here. And they're all labeled. And they're labeled like. With these little tabs. Yep. So that's all little house needle. Yeah, and that was all with thy needle. And that's how they stay. And it's wonderful. It's super easy to put them away. I love it. Those were Amazon bags, but they yep. came wrinkly, so just be So warned. you have to be okay with that? You have to just let it go. Don't iron them. Trust me. <laughs> 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 don't iron them. Um, and I keep, I don't, I, I do use these for embroidery. So, um, and I have an old 1980s something magnet board, and I keep my needle miners on there, which I only use when I do scroll rods, which are... No, where are your scroll rods right now? They're along the back. Oh, okay. I think on the bottom, so... Because I'm not really using it at this moment, so I just keep it behind everything, and there's plenty of room. And I think that's it, right? Yeah, looks like you have an extra ot light or something. Oh, uh, that's where my halo go light is that I thought I needed to have. Yeah. But all I did was bump up my light bulb and I'm fine. So. Okay. But if I am on the go and I need a light, yeah. that's where that is. So. And I just keep this right here so I can grab it. And actually, I keep it tucked back because of somebody. And the cutest picture ever of my daughter. Yeah. She looks and like I'm, my dad in that picture. So. <laughs> it's kind of sad. I need to get pictures printed out, but... I'm terrible about doing that. So if you want right. to show one more time. Or I think what I'll do is I'll, we'll just take some pictures and we can do a little slideshow at the end. So I'm not just like hobbledy bobbledy all That's over true. the place. That's true. So can you say bye-bye? Bye-bye. Can you show off your beautiful little dress? Do a little twirl. Good, Good job. job. Can you say see you later? See you later. <laughs> Bye. Bye.